Hey, what up guys? It's me, GamerGuyTV here, and welcome to another episode... Wait, no, this is a new series. What am I talking about? This isn't another episode. Welcome to the all-new Google Drive course, everyone. That is right. We are back with the Google Drive course. Not back. All-new Google Drive course. So, let's head into the course overview of what is this course, you know? So, what is this course? This course is a 10-episode crash course on how to use Google Drive. Now, why did I create this course? So the reason I created this course was I knew that, you know, like my grandparents and um, maybe kids learning how to use technology want to learn how to use Google Drive. And there are some kids that learn absolutely tremendously from the, you know, sit in a classroom and learn type of teaching. But then I also know that there are some of those kids that don't and that learn better through video and audio learning like this. And I've also taught my grandparents some of this stuff and this is also designed to help people like my grandparents who want to know how to use Google Drive but don't quite learn how to use it, this is supposed to help them achieve their goal of doing this. Now, um, how is this course different from other classroom courses? This course is online, it's like two to three days a week, I'm not sure at the time of recording. Um, but, yeah. It's, like, two to three times a week, at most. Um, and it is a video course. So, you guys don't have to come in to school. You don't have to commute. You don't have to worry about being sick. You can just look at the video and figure out, you know... What am I doing? What did I miss? And yes, I know I'm not a teacher, and I know that I'm not going to be the best teacher on earth. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the introduction of Google Drive. So what is Google Drive? So, I don't think I have the actual definition of Google Drive here, but Google Drive is essentially... So, I'm going to use an analogy, and there might be a picture on the screen, and there might not be. I don't know. I didn't build it into the Streamlabs thing. Essentially, you know when you go into like an office, there's like a file cabinet... It has a bunch of files in it, and you can pull a file out and work on it and then put it back. Google Drive is Google's online version of a file cabinet. You, know, you can have folders, you can have files, and we will dive into all of this stuff throughout the next couple weeks when this course is. We will dive into all of this. Um... When was Google Drive created? So, the day I'm filming this video is March 6, 2020. Google Drive was created on April 24th, 2012. So, nearly eight years ago, Google Drive was created. Now, um, yeah, so why do people use Google Drive? 
Sorry, guys. I'm. I forgot to put the one was Google Drive created up on screen. So, why do people use Google Drive? Um, people use Google Drive because of a few things. A, they want to be organized. B, you can collaborate with people inside your organization and outside of your organization to work on like creative writing pieces or a script for a TV show or something like that. And there are infinite numbers of reasons. It's the same reasons people use Microsoft Office. Like, literally, the exact same reasons. Um, so, yeah. The next thing we are going to be looking at is how to use Google Drive. So, first of all, each website has a URL. And the URL for Google Drive is drive.google.com. Now, um, after you have gone there, you will see something that looks like this. Now, yes, this is my desktop. And um, this is my school account, so there are plenty of things that are probably blurred out. But the way you want to create a new folder, oh, and if you guys didn't know, what I'm teaching you how to do is in a little bar at the top with the icon of the program we are working in and the color scheme. The color scheme of my taskbar down here has absolutely nothing to do with what we're doing. I just have it set. And the uh, video may lag due to me needing to or due to my theme switching, or stuff like that. So, you're going to want to right-click in blank space, and then create a new folder. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm calling this folder Google Drive Course Test Folder. And then you're going to want to hit Create. And it will highlight this folder for you. Now, another really cool thing you can do is you can change a folder's color. Yes, you see I've done it. So you're going to right click on that folder and you will see like a um, little grid of a bunch of colors and you just click that color and it changes the folder color for you. That is one of the great things about Google Drive. It helps you be much more organized. Alright, it helps you be much more organized. You can color code things. Um, you can even have folders within a folder. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to import a file. So under new, you're going to want to click on new and then file upload and it will pop all of this. It will pop up Windows. Um, and I'm actually using Microsoft Edge, the all-new Microsoft Edge, not sponsored by Microsoft, by the way. Um, if you had Chrome, it might look slightly different. But, like, here's a um, PDF. Or, let's see. Here is something that I have no idea what it is. So, when I import, it will start the upload, and it will... You know, tell you how much time it has left. That took absolutely no time whatsoever. So, yeah. Um, that is how you import files. Now, to move a file around. To move a file around. You're going to want to... Here. We will use this file. So... Um, you're going to want to click the three dots up in the corner, and then click, whoops, I clicked the, uh, add to start. Sorry guys, my computer is not enjoying this. I have so many programs open right now, it's not even funny. You can see it in my taskbar. Um, and you can choose a place to move it to, and once you have chosen that place, you click move, 
I'm not going to do that because I don't want to move when I'm moving. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to go into a folder that I call phone imports. Um, it's a folder that I made, and why do I bring this up? I bring this up because of this. Now this is the personal photos app on my phone, and I've blurred a couple things out, but I am in the selecting items category of photos right now. And I just selected a photo of my cat. He's adorable. He's about the fuzziest creature I've ever known. So I'm going to click the share button right there, and I have my iPad open because that's what I'm using to switch the scenes for you guys. Um, and then with iOS 13, you're going to want to click more. And if you scroll down, you will see drive. Now, it's going to have to download the image, which I'm using up enough Wi-Fi signal right now. My mom's on a meeting downstairs that it's going to take quite a while to download. Oop. Maybe? Eh, I don't know. Hey, there it goes. So it's asking me to sign in. Again, all of this stuff is blurred because it is my personal information. Now, um, as you can see, we have the file here. It shows us the file size. And what we're going to want to do is go into the folder that you want to upload to. You're going to want to click Save Here and then click upload and what it will do is it will upload that folder and now when we go to refresh the page which is going to take ages because my CPU usage is almost full we will see that we have the picture in here now this is great because it allows you at least for me for school because as you all know I'm a student in school um, I'm a very good student for that matter but it is super helpful in school because I can be taking pictures for a field trip or for, say, let's see here. I could be taking pictures on a field trip and need to upload them to a folder. Like when I went on the Bay trip for school in late October of 2019, we weren't allowed to take pictures we weren't allowed to have our phones on the trip once we got on the island. But until then, we were allowed to take pictures, and they had a folder that we could upload stuff to because of that feature, and it was really easy for them to put all of the photos into the slideshow for that reason. So we have reached the end of episode one. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I just want to clear one thing up. When I was doing the What is Google Drive... Um, the reason it didn't show when Google Drive was created was I have a feature turned on in Streamlabs called Studio Mode. And that is there is a live feed and you can go in and edit. So I don't have the thing up right now. But there are, it essentially splits the screen into two. So there's the Edit tab, which is where you can edit the scene and it won't affect anything that you're seeing on the live feed. And then there's the live feed, which is what the audience would be seeing when live streaming or what Streamlabs is recording. And I forgot to hit the transition button, which moves the stuff that is on edit over to live. I forgot to hit that button, so I'm just clearing that up for you guys. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see, hopefully, all of you in the next video. Bye.